Hey, what's up everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to take a look at the Hanna pH checker. We'll give you a review of it and show you how to calibrate it when you first get it out of the box. So let's get to it. <music> Everybody. So before we get into our review of the HANA pH checker, I just want to go through a little announcement. Um, this weekend there will be another episode of Roscoe's Reef probably on Sunday after the Coral Lust open house for a review of that. Also there is a kind of a special announcement for me. Since the Lancaster show, my son was able to work uh, with us over at the Coral Lust booth. So we're walking out the door. Okay. Well, we'll be here. Okay. Sounds good. And took on a pretty big liking to the atmosphere at the frag swaps and selling corals. So he has gone into a new channel and a new hobby and a new venture for himself. He's opened up a YouTube channel. It's called The Fragster where he's going to show you the setting up of his frag tank and how he's going to grow his corals and also uh, the shows that he goes to with us so if you can I'll link him in the description below and also in the information uh, in the upper right hand corner and go over to him give him a subscription and tell him that his dad sent you over to him so alright let's get on with the review Okay, so here we are, and what we're going to do now is calibrate the Hanna Checker pH checker. Now, what I have is, right now, the checker itself is sitting in some RODI water, and next to it, you can see I have the pH 7 and pH 4 solution. So now what I'll do is, I'll take the checker out, I'll dab it on the tissue, and now what you have to do is first turn it on to the measuring screen, and then hold it down, and you'll see this calibration. Now it'll start flashing 7.01, so we will put that in. 7.01 solution and once the measuring glass disappears we will hit store we'll hit the button once and it should Okay, so now we hit the button once and store it. And now, if you're doing just a one point calibration, now it will be calibrated. So you can see that just the seven is showing there. And you're actually good to go right there. So you can turn it off and put it in your RODI fluid just to keep that tip clean. Okay so the difference between the one point calibration and the two point as you can see here it's showing four and seven which means it's calibrated with the four and seven point oh one calibration fluid. How you would go about doing that is simple. Once you're on this screen you hold the button down, go to calibration, and as soon as it flashes 7.01, put it into that solution. After it measures the 7.01 solution, it will then ask you for the 4.01 calibration solution, and at that point, it's going to 
steady out and you'll see the next one will be the store button and you would tap that and now you would be calibrated to a two point calibration. You can see that I started off with a two point and now I am at a one point and that's because in the tip currently the tip contains a 7.01 calibration fluid for storage and that's why it's calibrated right now to the one. So either way you're going to be calibrated and the pH probe will work. Now as far as the instructions go when you open them up you're going to see care and maintenance, warranty information, recommendations for users. The first little bit of information you're going to come to is an auto off. The HANA Check or PH Probe has an auto off uh, feature and you can set that to be 60 minutes, 8 minutes or uh, a manual auto. So you're, that's your choice. To clear the calibration what you would do is on the screen where you have the off, if you hold the, as you can see here, you would hold it on until the clear, the CLR is present, then you would hit it and it would clear the uh, calibration that you've done prior. The ERR button, it goes through the explanation of that, okay, and a battery indicator, then you would open this up. You open it up so it's all folded out and there it clearly will show you how to calibrate your meter. Here it is showing how you would hit the calibration and it would start flashing 7.01 and then you can determine from that point whether you're going to do a one or a two point calibration. If you're doing a one or two point calibration, um, you would follow the instructions just the way I explained and showed it to you. So, as far as my opinions on this is concerned, um, I'm happy with it. I'm trusting its measurements because I know what my tank usually runs at, and therefore, it's within that range. Uh, what, what I can do now is take you over to the tank and show you exactly how to measure um, the pH on your system. So we'll go over to the tank and check it out. So here we are at the tank. I've turned the pH checker in and inserted the tip into the water. And now the checker is going through its measurement process. You can see right there there's the hourglass showing you that it's running. This is going to take a little bit, so we'll come back when it gets close to its reading and uh, resume. Okay, so we're back now and it's slowing down, and like I said, my tank runs, uh, it's showing 7.76 as the pH. My tank usually runs around 8, uh, depending on how much, um, how many, how long it's been since fresh air has been in my, in the house. Uh, it's cold lately and the windows have been closed, so I'm assuming that it's going to be a little on the low side. So, it's going through the process now. And 7.8, it's showing. So 7.8 to me is an okay figure. It's a little on the low side for me. But again, I'm between water changes and also, like I said, the it's been cold lately and the um, windows have been closed, so my pH is probably taking a drip because of that. So that's it for the HANA pH checker. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. It's a, a lot easier than 
messing around with probes on your on on the systems and calibrating them uh, for someone who doesn't have a re tank monitoring system it's the uh, easiest way for them to measure pH in their tank so definitely I would recommend getting one and giving it a try so that's it for me and as always this is Scott and I'll see you next time around the reef tank thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe